how to overcome body image issues. Most people put a huge emphasis on talking positively to your body, affirmations, mantras, just think positive, say nice things to yourself. And this has somehow become the foundation for changing a person's body image. When you hate your body, when you feel disgusting in your body, when you think that you are ugly, so much uglier than everybody else. Now I know it's painful when you are laying awake at night, obsessing, freaking out, distraught, crying, unable to look at your own body because you hate it that much. When you're avoiding going places like the beach or the gym or out with your friends, when you are getting into fights with your partner and it's tearing the relationship apart, all because you hate your body so much. Do we really think that just saying nice things to ourselves is going to fix all of that? And yet that's what's being pushed right now. I'm not saying that it's bad to say nice things to yourself. Your inner dialogue is important. It's important, but it's only one small piece of the puzzle. This is why affirmations and positive thinking, unfortunately by itself, is not going to fix your body image issues or any of the other issues that are created because of the body image issues. Let's talk about a few of the problems with putting so much emphasis on affirmations and internal dialogue when it comes to the body image. When we focus simply on the thoughts that we have about our body, it prevents us from dealing with the real issue that is beneath the body image. There is something deeper that has created the problem with the body. It's easier, it feels safer to talk about being ugly, to talk about not liking our body than it is to talk about maybe being afraid that nobody will ever love us or that we're not lovable. It's easier to talk about the way we look than it is to talk about the assault that happened as a child. It's easier to talk about how ugly our face is than to tell someone about the name calling and the insults and the criticisms that are going on at home. The problem is not your body. As an example, I want to point out that people who have disabilities, physical disabilities, people who have what most people would consider extreme physical abnormalities. These people manage to make peace with their bodies, which means it's possible. So most people don't even have to face those kinds of issues. The problem's not the body. People are struggling with body image issues. The body has become a symbol that is associated with a deeper problem. When you focus all of your attention on your body, how it looks, and the conscious thoughts, the affirmations that you have about your body and how it looks, you actually avoid the real issue. And it's dealing with the real issue that is what allows you to stop obsessing about your body, for the body to stop being a problem and something you can actually be comfortable with. Another problem with affirmations and positive thinking, there is a difference between a conscious level thought and an unconscious belief system. Imagine. If you just 
if you picture a tree, you have the branches, you have the trunk, and you have the roots. The roots are underground. They are beneath the surface. You don't see most of those roots. Your conscious level thoughts are like the branches of that tree. Your unconscious thoughts are like the roots of that tree. If you don't get rid of the roots or move the roots to a better location, it just keeps coming back. So a person can end up struggling for years and years and years, a lifetime, when it doesn't have to be that way. Another problem with putting all your attention on affirmations and inner dialogue is that you're using the conscious mind, which is the analytical, logical part of the mind, to try and reason or analyze your way out of a problem that you don't fully understand. What's logical about that? Nothing. Of course it doesn't work. You're trying to use logic on something that's not very logical. Of course it doesn't work. Here's another problem with putting so much attention on affirmations and thinking. All thinking and no action leads to no change. If you want to have a different experience with your body and if you have to do something, when we get obsessed on how our body looks, we start to live in our heads. So they become exaggerated. And so the problem, the way that we see our body and the problems that we see with the physicality of our body, they become magnified. They become larger than life. And so this is why a lot of times people will have a hard time understanding how you can talk about your body that way, how you can see your body that way. Because to them, it's not that big. But it's big to you because you're so consumed with living in your head and living in your thoughts. Your thoughts have become everything. And so doing, throwing more affirmations, more thoughts into the mix is just a new flavor of the same problem. It doesn't actually change anything. And one of the biggest problems that I see with affirmations and positive thinking about your body, not that it's, it's wonderful to have a healthy, balanced attitude towards your, the way that you look, towards your physical body. But the problem with the affirmations is that oftentimes people will tell you, oh, well, you know, fake it till you make it. Or isn't there just some small part of you that believes that it could be true? Well, listen to that little part. It doesn't work. It doesn't work unless you're fully on board and able to really embrace what you're saying. You're lying to yourself and nobody likes being lied to. Nobody likes being lied to. It doesn't make you feel any better. So when you have a friend that says, oh, no, you don't look that bad, but you really feel pretty strongly that they're just saying that to make you feel better because you know what they sound like when they're telling the truth and when they're lying. Or maybe, maybe they really were being honest, but you just didn't believe them. And so you think that they're lying. Did it make you feel better hearing them say that? No. So naturally, you lying to yourself is not going to make you feel better might even make you feel worse. And if you're able to say something kind about your body, about the way that you look to yourself, that is wholehearted and genuine, and you can feel the appreciation and the gratitude, then that's wonderful. 
and that can be helpful. But lying to yourself, trying to convince yourself by just changing your thoughts, you're just trying to control the situation in the same way that you try to control your body through your mind. It doesn't work. Then what happens is all it takes is one person to come along and tell you otherwise, to make you doubt that little affirmation you've been telling yourself. Maybe it's, oh my gosh, I have, I have the most amazing hair. And you don't really believe that. And you're just thinking, well, there's a little part of me that might believe that. So I'll just say that. And somebody comes along and says, man, your hair is... I'm not going to swear. But they say something really rude. And then what happens? You spiral. You break under the pressure. Because you never really believed the affirmation. You're just trying to brainwash yourself. Not everybody will be nice to you. And I'm not saying that they are justified in criticizing or insulting you or the way that you look. It's just a fact of life that this stuff does happen. And it happens to some people more than it happens to other people. And that's unfortunate too. But it is what it is. Affirmations and positive thinking crumbles. It just, it doesn't hold up to these kinds of stressors. You could be struggling for years, a lifetime, if that's how you try to do it. It doesn't have to be like that. You can make progress, significant progress with your body image in a matter of weeks or months. But affirmations, Positive thinking, internal dialogue by itself, not going to get you there. It is one year out of several that are necessary to get that body image changed, to feel comfortable in your skin. I'm not saying that you are going to love every little thing about your the way that your body looks, but you can be at home in your body. I don't like being brainwashed, do you? You've been living in your head and it hasn't been very much fun for you, has it? What brainwashing, why do we try to use this technique on ourselves? <laughs> has, it has its place, but it's a little place. It's not everything. And if you try to change your life just by changing your thoughts, you will be disappointed. I've tried it. <laughs> That's how I know this. Because <laughs> everybody's saying that it works. <laughs> I just say it enough times, it must be true. If only life were that simple. Ah, oh, it is so cloudy. I cannot wait to see the sun again. I bet you can't wait to see the sun again too. Sink in. It doesn't hold up to these kinds of... Apparently my... Sorry.